Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video, it's your boy. And guys, this is emergency meeting. I am on something, okay? I am on something great, but I need you guys' help, man. I need you guys' help because... Oh, shit, man. So, first of all, it, where should I start? Uh, it all started with Kurogain. I hope I said your name right. Kurogain or Kurogame. One of my members and subscribers on the channel. He actually inspired me to do something which is insane, okay? Because basically we can play on the shifter with only one Simoon and uh, even without a single Synchro Monster. So if your opponent activates Dimensional Barrier or whatever, like, we're still playing through. But I ended up, like, at the last, like, at the last position, there's one thing that is preventing us from summoning Kali Yuga and... Right now, I don't really have a solution for it, but let's 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 take a look here. Okay? Let's take a look at this together. You you guys might have an idea. I'm not sure. This is why I'm 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 calling every Blackwing enthusiast, like everyone who loves the Blackwings. I need you guys' help, okay? I need you guys' help because it's so close. It's so close. Or maybe there's someone out there who can help us. I need you guys to come together, okay? So we're gonna activate. Uh, shifter and under shifter we can just normal summon uh, Simoon search for Dutri with Dutri we're gonna search for Vata and Hamitan and then um we just gonna special dose we can go straight to Y6 special summon level 4 Mancer now we can go for Raiders Knight okay and the cool thing about Raiders Knight is that it's also uh treated as a Phantom Knight or Raid Raptor so what that means is if he activates his effect and we go for the Arc Rebellion Dragon. We're going to activate Wirestrix effect and get the rank up set. Okay. And this is why I thought we do not need the Raiders uh, wing. Okay. And now, first of all, the good thing is that Arc Rebellion Seize Dragon is a crazy card in this deck to OTK your opponent going second. So it's good to have this card on your deck. Okay. Not only to go for Kali Yuga, but it's also a great card to go for going second. So next up is um in so we have to go first for the triple burst dragon because we want to go next to the um yeah we want to go next to the dragoon uh, dauntless metal dragon okay and we can only go for dauntless metal dragon if using these two effect monsters with the same type and attribute this is why we have to go for the triple burst dragon but this is cool because Triple Burst Dragon is not only like extended to go for Kalyuga, but it's also a good card that we can use like even in the going second, right? It's a, it's a crazy card. And now uh, we can go for Darkness Mel Dragon, okay? Oh, sorry. Step back. So, first of all, we're going to summon the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord, okay? And we can just special summon that level 7 monster only if we control an Arc Rebellion monster. Okay, so we do, right? We got the Arc Rebellion dragon over here. So we control that. What that means is we can go straight to the Odd Ice Rebellion dragon overlord. And now I thought money. Money. I thought that this is it. That's what I really thought, okay? So I was like, all right, let's just go to the Darkness Metal Dragon. Boom. And now let's activate his effect and special summon the Odd Ice Rebellion Dragon again. Right? That's what I thought. But now here's a problem. Here is the problem, guys. The Odd Ice Rebellion Dragon Overlord. His last sentence in his effect is, you can only special summon Odd Ice Rebellion Dragon Overlord once per turn and the, the thing is like I, I thought that that means like i can revive him once from the banishing or from the graveyard but what that means is this card was already special summoned okay from the x deck so we cannot special summon him in the same turn with the um darkness metal dragon okay so this does not work unfortunately we can only summon arc rebellion dragon or something else and that sucked, right? That sucked, but it's okay. It's okay because 
I thought, all right, I got another, I, I got another idea that we can do. So let's check this out. All right, so same scenario. Under shifter, we summon Simoon. We special summon all the other monsters. We go for Y6. With Y6, we want to special summon again the unit four. Raiders Knight, get the rank up. Go for Arc Rebellion Dragon. And now I thought, okay, let's try it this way. We're going first for the triple burst uh, dragon. And then Arc Rebellion Dragon and triple burst. Go for Darkness Metal Dragon. Now we can special summon our Arc Rebellion Dragon and just overlay the Alt Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. But now the problem is that we need to get rid of that attachment. How are we supposed to get rid of that attachment? And this is where uh, the beautiful ultimate combo stopped and failed. I was so excited because I was going through this combo on, in my head and I was like, yo, we got it. This is it. That's why like under the excitement, I was I wasn't at, I wasn't at home the whole day. I was outside when I came up with this idea, and when I was talking to Kurogain, and I was like, "Easy money, we got it." But that last sentence from the odd eyes, Rebellion Dragon Overlord just messed up the whole play, which is that we can only special summon him once per turn. And yeah, so that's one thing that sucks, and the other thing is like even if we do summon him. He still got that attachment. So how are we going to get rid of attachment? And currently I don't really have an answer for it. That's why I'm calling this emergency meeting. And I hope and pray that one of those thousand people that's going to watch this video might have an idea. Because if we find a solution for this together. Then this will ultimately become the best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh history. <laughs> in history but it's it's ultimately becoming like one of the best decks because we can simply under shift the win games literally win games so that's a problem guys that's a problem that i currently have and yeah oh man i was so excited man i, I was talking to a lot of people i'm telling them yo i got it i got this new i got this new kelly you go away whatever but then we just stopped at that point where we can get rid of the attachment or where we cannot spare summon him again. Heartbreaking for me right now because I thought I actually did it. Because in my, in my mind, it was working perfectly. But then that heart once per turn, you can only spare summon otherwise. Damn. Damn. So yeah, guys, I'm calling each one of you guys. Please, please. Let's... Put our brains together. Let's put our beautiful black wing hearts together and find a solution on this one. Because if we can't find a solution, it's it's going to be crazy, guys. Because we can still, we, because if we're going for Caligula this way, we still got like eight cards left in the in the X deck, and every single card in this deck is not only an extender; it's also a great card. Sorry, also a great card for going second. Arc Rebellion Dragon. Even the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon is, is a great card to go second. And the uh, Triple Burst Dragon is also a great card to go second. So this card, this deck would be so insane. It would be so insane. So please, please guys, come and help you boy. I need you. Please, someone help me out there. Gotta. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm sorry if I uh, uh, gave some people unnecessary hope because I, I actually believed it. I actually believed it that this is the new way. I didn't know that this motherfucker was a like, heart once per turn special summoning. Otherwise, it would be GG. Yeah. Damn, so close. Or maybe we can just sub him with, like, with another extra deck card. I don't know. Let's let's work on this together, guys. Okay, I feel like well, there is a way. I feel like there's a way, but let's put all our minds together and find a way. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, to subscribe, and yeah, and I got.